So today I'm gonna to show you how to add a contractor onto your Gusto account. So what we're gonna do is actually hop over onto the computer in real time so you can follow step by step in this process. Now, if by any chance you don't already have your Gusto account, we'll have a link for you in the show notes down below as well as additional resources for you. So we're here on the main account of our Gusto and we wanna go ahead and add a new contractor. So what we can do is actually go to our people tab right over here on the left hand side of the screen so if we kind of toggle right here it's going to show us a few new options and one of them could be hitting over to team members now there's other ways to get to this point but this is effectively going to be one of those ways now here on the screen here what we're going to see is this option right over here on the top right hand side that says add a team member now i know the wording might change it a little bit because it says team member so it's just something to keep in mind that once you click on here you're going to see a new option so we're going to toggle here and here again, it's gonna kind of show you that you're adding a team member, but if you actually scroll down here, this is where you're gonna be able to do it with a contractor. So you can see there's individual contractor or a business contractor. And if you go ahead and toggle here, it is gonna have you just put in still the same information up above, which is their first and last name. If they have any preferred name as well as their personal email address, and you can invite them to put in their own details, which is definitely recommended. It helps you in this process as well. Uh, what we're gonna actually do is fill this information out and we're gonna hit save and continue so we can see the next questions in this process. Now, before we continue on, if you are getting value out of this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you wanna keep on getting more content like this that helps you support your small business. Now, really quick as well, because we did decide to go with a business contractor option, it is gonna have us put in a business name for the person that we're sending this money to, which is gonna be technically with a company. So nothing too big of a change here from individual to a business contractor, but just an added section here for us. And now we're gonna go ahead and click that save and continue. Now, next up here, it is gonna show us uh, a couple more things such as asking what department they're going to be part of. So from here, it's going to have a drop down menu. If you don't actually have a department, it's going to ask you to go ahead and create a new one. If you don't want to fill this in, that's going to be totally okay as well. And then next up down here, you can see is when the contract start date is. So whenever you're getting that started, whether it's the day of or later down the road, you can go ahead and plug that in. It's going to be month, date, and year. Once all that's there, we're going to go ahead and click on save and continue. Now, next up here, it is going to have the wage type. It's gonna have the option either for hourly or a fixed dollar amount. This can be changed as well if you need to down the road. For our example here, we're gonna be going with the hourly rate. And then in this section right here, you can kind of see it's a little cropped off there. You're gonna put how much they are gonna be getting paid, and then we're gonna hit the save and continue. Now, if on the offhand, you did the fixed dollar amount. It won't have anything else here, and then you'll do the save and continue. So we're gonna put the hourly rate and then go to the next step. So next up here, this section is going to be on Gusto's end. It says Gusto automatically includes a taxpayer identification form, which is form W9. This actually helps verify for tax purposes to help generate that 1099 for the end of the year, which is going to help you save a lot of time. So we're going to just be reading this off and then we're going to hit that save and continue to go to the next step. So from right over here, this is going to be us reviewing everything so we can see all the information that we plugged in. If we need to edit anything, there are going to be edit buttons for every section so we don't have to completely go all the way back if we needed to. And then I'm going to jump to the bottom of this page. And then from here, you can also see the start date, the department, which again, this can also be changed later, the wage type, and then the hourly rate, which again can also be changed later down the road. And then the document that's going to be included. If everything is looking good, we're going to go ahead and click on the button here to add them as a contractor. So here on the next page, it's actually going to go and take us to the overall profile account for this person. So you can see we're under team members and then this person's checklist. It'll have the start date for us, which is what we did for today's video. And then any tasks that are currently active, which is actually right now adding this person into Gusto. Gusto. And you can see right over here, it says invitation sent. So this is the invitation that is being sent out to the person individually for them to finish filling out any other portions for their account. Once that's filled out, you might get some additional information to be able to finish filling out, as well as having them add in their own personal bank account that they want that money to go into once you start paying them, which is really nice. Usually takes a very short amount of time once they fill out their section, and then you can go ahead and start paying them through Gusto directly. I wanna show you how to go ahead and pay a contractor slash even yourself when it comes to running payroll on Gusto. So check out our video right over here on screen to learn exactly how to do that.